Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. I am Matiullah Khatak, uh, teaching you English. Uh, we have ended up with the topic of uh, pronoun, its cases, its kinds, and uh, its implications. So today I am going to teach you uh, the second chapter of the second unit, which is called a uh, glory and hope. Glory and hope. Uh, is a speech given by Nelson Mandela. This speech was titled as Glory and Hope. So at the end of this lesson, we must be able to achieve this, these objectives. We must be able to know about the life of Nelson Mandela and his achievements. The ups and downs as experienced by South Africa that civil rights belong to every individual living in a society uh, that discrimination on the basis of a race is detrimental to the progress of any society endeavor for a great cause requires great passion and tolerance so these are the objectives you must keep these objectives in mind while going through or reading this lesson. The lesson is titled as Glory and Hope. Uh, let us uh, give a look to the title of this lesson of this speech. Glory and Hope. This expression is used to mean what does uh, glory and hope mean so this expression is used to mean a brilliantly beautiful day i am repeating it uh, glory and hope is used for a brilliantly beautiful day so the question arises in our mind is why is it a most beautiful day for them what is the occasion uh, the answer is very simple it is because they have succeeded in establishing peace in their country. They have come out from the valley of darkness like the black Americans. They have come out from the valley of darkness into the sunlit path of justice, peace and prosperity that will follow in their country. The Apartheid, apartheid is a special word used for that racial discrimination, segregation, as we learned in the previous chapters, discrimination on the basis of uh, a particular race or races. This special word was used for racial discrimination in South Africa, which is called apartheid. So, the apartheid, racial discrimination or segregation has come to an end in their country, which is an omen of good days to come and see in their homeland under the leadership of an untiring and unswavering personality of Nelson Mandela, the man who fought bravely and courageously against the racial discrimination system in order to eliminate it from the roots of the society. We would like to know about his life as well, that he was sent behind the bars. Sent behind the bars means he was sent to jail for 27 years. But he never detached himself from this great cause in his life. He was successful and elected as the first black president in South Africa under a democratic setup. This why it is a day of hope 
glory and hope for them it is a most brilliantly beautiful day for them because they have come out from the racial discrimination system and they are celebrating this is a success so the next question which i asked in the very beginning is why what is an occasion what special occasion is it for them it is an occasion of great happiness and joys for them they have invited monarchs kings presidents prime ministers foreign ministers bureaucrats from different countries to join them in celebrating this unique success this success this victory of peace justice and prosperity which they have acquired after a long journey such days are celebrated with great pomp and show in the history of the nations across the world if we compare this day with the days as seen by the muslims in the subcontinent and the muslims in the arab and those black americans in the usa the background is almost the same the background to all these four speeches lesson the farewell sermon jinas presidential address in karachi and uh, i have a dream by martin luther and this one glory and hope all these speeches have almost almost the same background their background is the same in all respect in all these four lessons if you observe them closely these are historic and unforgettable moments for those particular communities like the muslims in the subcontinent the muslim and the arab or those black american and these south africans for the muslims to come to makkah was the victory of islam and so a bra- brilliantly beautiful day for them for the muslims of the arab in those days similarly 14th of august was a twice brilliantly beautiful day or a day of glory and hope for the muslims of the subcontinent when they got freedom from the clutches of uh, british imperialism and the hindus similarly for the black american the day when they were given equal rights equal citizenship rights was a most brilliant and beautiful day for them in this case it is a very brilliantly beautiful day which is called glory and hope for the south africans as they have materialized their dream to make this country free from all sorts of racial discrimination here one thing which needs to be pointed out and that is and we will read it in the lesson as well in that chapter as well that south africa was never visited by these honorable guests as they had come to join them in celebrating their victory this thing is compulsory to note over here that they had never come to south africa before because they thought of south africa is the most despicable is the most despised thing in the whole world south africa was thought the center of racism 
in the whole world that's why they neglected they rejected they cut off all sorts of relations with south africa but today they have come to join the celebration of south of south africans because it is uh, the victory of peace happiness and prosperity for the whole world not only for the south africans as we sometime hear about some countries that they are the center of uh, terrorism if a particular country becomes the center of terrorism the whole world cuts off their relation with such countries so the same was the case with, with south africa when it was passing through such periods all the nations of the world rejected cut off their relation with them and it was a most deplorable condition for them so this is the background of the lesson on this particular occasion they have invited many guests from other countries as i told you monarchs kings ministers foreign minister presidents and bureaucrats they have come because they want to join them in celebrating this great day of happiness with the south africans now let us see and learn about the author called nelson mandela nelson mandela was born on july 18 1918 in transki south africa becoming actively involved in the anti apartheid movement in his 20s mandela joined the african national congress in 1942 For 20 years he directed a campaign of peaceful non-violent defiance against the South African government and its racist policies. In 1993 Mandela and South Africa South African president F W D Clark were jointly awarded the Nobel Prize peace prize for their efforts to dismantle the country's apartheid system in 1994 mandela was inaugurated as south africa's first black president in 2009 mandela's birthday july 18 was declared Mandela's day to promote global peace and celebrate the South African leader's legacy. Now 94 Nelson Mandela continues to be a source of inspiration for civil rights activists worldwide. Now let us see the difficult words expressions and uh, important points the most important of all is his date of birth that he was born on july 18 1918 so this is clearly mentioned his date of birth he was born in transki south africa so this is his birthplace and then he actively involved he got involved not passively actively against what against anti apartheid movement anti apartheid as i told you it was uh, racial discrimination 
that was officially supported by the South African government that they were not given their rights. So anti-apartheid racial discrimination policy in South Africa and this policy was supported. It hit the support of the government. So he got actively involved in this racial discrimination movement in his 20s. In his 20s, when we say his 20s, it means he was uh, in between the age of 20 and 29. Automatically, you need to add 10 years to it, uh, including 20 up to 29. So Mandela joined the African National Congress, this national like or National Assembly, this National Congress in 1942. He became the member of this assembly in 1942 for 20 years. So keep this in mind. He directed a campaign. He led, he led a moment, a struggle moment. Campaign means a struggle, a moment of peaceful, non-violent defiance against the South African government. So he led this movement which was peaceful. It had not to resort to any violation, any destruction in the country. Peacefully and uh, non-violently they resisted defiance means to show bold resistance to authority power persons in authority so peacefully and non-violently they resisted boldly and courageously against what against the south african government that they should not create such uh, racial discrimination or uh, should not support this apartheid policy in the country and its racist policies racist policies has the same meanings that they were they meted out differently to different races in 1993 you can see Mandela and South African President F.W. D. Clark were jointly awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for their efforts to dismantle the country apartheid system. So Mandela was the president. Later on this one, F.W. D. Clark, he became the vice president. Mandela became the president and this one the vice president and they were jointly awarded with what Nobel Peace Prize. Why was this awarded to them? For their efforts uh, to bring uh, to end. Uh, dismantle means to demolish. You can see demolish, raise to the ground, crush to the ground, to bring to end. Uh, what did they bring to end? What did they demolish? What did they raise to the ground? The country's apartheid system. This racial discrimination, this segregation, this uh, difference in the races. This was brought, brought to end by Nelson Mandela, F. D. Clark, and they were and they were jointly awarded with this Nobel Peace Prize. And then what happened in 1994? He was inaugurated. Inaugurated as South Africa's first black president. So he became the first black president in 1994. Remember it. Keep it in mind. Important point for MCQs. And uh, to understand the whole history of the lesson. So he was the first black president and uh, elected under democratic uh, setup in 1994. And then in 2009, 
Mandela's birthday, July 18, as you can see, July 18, 19, 18. July 18, which is his birthday, it was declared as Mandela Day. Why was it declared as Mandela Day? To promote global peace and celebrate the South African leader's legacy. Legacy means inheritance. What had been passed down to them, what they had received, what they had received from this great leader. What they had received from this great leader, it was uh, peace, prosperity and happiness, justice had come down th to them. They had received it from their great leader. Their great leader had done a lot for them. That's why they declared 18th of July as uh, global peace, global peace to promote global peace, to encourage global peace, and celebrate the South African leader's legacy. Now, 94. Nelson Mandela continues to be a source of inspiration. So he was, he is a great source of inspiration still. Continues means he is still a great source of inspiration. They get energy, they get courage. Who get courage energy from uh, Nelson Mandela, the civil rights activists who work across the world, worldwide means across the world. So those civil, uh, civil rights activists who work for one or uh, another kind of civil, civil rights across the country, across the world, they get a lot of energy, a lot of courage uh, from uh, Nelson Mandela who worked an extremely bad situation circumstances but he never detached himself from his cause and what was the cause what was the target before him was to uh, bring to end the apartheid system in South Africa which he successfully brought to end and resultantly he was elected as the first black president in 1994. I hope you got the main points, a difficult expression, words. I tried to listen to this video attentively with due attention and then would it would be possible for you to understand the next lectures related to Nelson Mandela. Thank you very much.